My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here once again on the Unorthoblox server, emanating from the Mushroom Base, and we're just kind of flying in, getting a, a nice view of everything. We've made some changes off camera, and I'd like to show you. First one is here inside of the Wolf Farm. We now have set up an automatic uh, refill station uh, for... <laughs> For the uh, for the dispenser, so now we can just run a cart, and it will periodically drop off uh, shears to anyone that needs it, uh, which is which is pretty nice. Because otherwise, we were trying to like climb up there to do stuff. Yeah, it looks like looks like we do need that. So let's run that a few times. The next thing we did was add some some stairs, so it was easier to get in the places. I think uh, I think just having like little side entrances here. Uh, is relatively nice and we started to add glass everywhere but yeah as you can see <laughs> quickly quickly ran out and inside our main base uh yeah we we we, we put a bed up uh it's not <laughs> you know what i have a really hard time doing interiors and it's not even it's not even do, the, the just the idea of doing the interior it's it's just the fact that like we're <sighs> It's function over form for me. <laughs> uh, if we if we make it look nice, like that's great, right? But if it makes it harder to use, like I don't, I don't, I don't know. So like filling this room with like stuff just to fill it with stuff, it's just it's just it's just weird. It's a weird concept for me. But down here we did a little bit more expansion. So as you can see, we added. Uh, we added some areas. This was initially going to be like my little bedroom here, but because we're still so close to the skeleton spawner, uh, it would not allow me to sleep. Uh, so yeah, it was it was not great. Also, shiplap. I this is this is my attempt at shiplap. I I don't I don't know how I feel about it. I'm just gonna leave it here. We did it upstairs as well. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it here and see if uh, see if it grows on me. <laughs> But also we inside here, I've uh, got a similar setup to what we've got outside with our storage. So yeah, all of our like valuables and ores and stuff will will go here, uh, which I think will make it a little bit uh, nicer to uh, yeah to like come in here and, and get stuff. Also like some spare armor that we got from the skeleton spawner. I just threw it in there. I wasn't really sure where to where to put it. Same thing with uh, bows. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's where that's living now. Um, and before we had a bit of a, uh, an auto smelter type system here. And so, um, you know, we tore it down, so I moved it. So we've got it up here along this wall. Um, it's being fed by some chests upstairs. So yeah, these chests right here. So if we just, you know, throw in whatever we want to smelt, uh, then they get smelted downstairs. And all items smelted shows up here. So as you can see, we we did smelt some new glass, uh, but I don't think it's going to be nearly enough to uh, finish our projects. Also, there's no convenient way right now <laughs> to fill it in, and it's because I have built this little stairway down here. And the stairway is going to take us to a very unfinished room, but this is where we're going to be working today. Down here... We're basically on the back side of the uh, the collection area for the uh, for the pool outside, and I think this is where we are going to want to like we're basically going to want to tear down this system here and replace it with an auto sorting system. So we've got uh, space for iron, sugar, bones, poppies, and arrows. Those are gonna be our four or our five main items. And then I've got two extra chests here at the end and I might add like a third, but it's like, you know, just like an extra catch-all. Or if we expand and add something else to the system, uh, we've, we've got the space for it. All right, so an auto sorting system is definitely something that I've never, I've never done before. Um, I've definitely had needs to do it, but it's just like there are some redstone things that uh, I'm cool, I'm cool with making, and others just always seem like way, way too complicated <laughs> to even attempt. 
Uh, but yeah, today we're going to attempt it. <laughs> and we need to do this for the flower farm anyway, so it makes sense. It makes sense that we're going to try it out. We might as well try it out here at home. All right, so we just want to clean this area up just a tad. It's nice to know exactly what blocks not to destroy when you're working on redstone. So we're just going to line the floor. All right, and these sorting systems, yeah. I mean, there's tutorials all all over the place. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're following a tutorial. I'll throw a link in the description. I mean, plenty of people have done it. But there was one that I found that I felt like really explained things uh, a lot, a lot better for for me, for the layman, right? Uh, so uh, the dude's name was Shulkercraft. So I'll throw a link in the description for for his uh, for his channel or their channel, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so we've got uh, we've got repeaters that are running into a block that is being powered or that has uh, that has the power source of, uh, of the, the block that is basically locking, I think, locking the... You know what? Just just follow the, the tutorial. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I can't explain it. I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> and I think this will be uh, this will be a majority of what we've got left to do. Uh, then it's just uh, then it's just redstone bits. Uh, so we've got our comparator, which I believe faces this direction. Then we've got redstone. Just load load this uh, this shelf with redstone down here too. Why not? Okay, we got hoppers going into the comparators. Oops, not that one. Give that back. Oh, oh, too strong, too strong. Gotta turn haste off. Oh, that's down there. Okay, hold on a second. Now we need to create some filters, and I just realized we only have five levels. We shouldn't have died. Shouldn't have died off camera. <laughs> so let's uh, let's let's go ahead and do some trading, uh, and then we'll set up the filter system, and then I think we can just connect it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's weird. I thought it was one level per item to rename it, but I guess you could just do a whole stack. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, before we do the actual filtering, though, I think what we need to do is we need to run another line of hoppers, and this is what's going to actually be transporting the items, which we'll hook up with, uh, with, with this line here. So we'll just set that up for now. Okay, and then we need to actually set up the filter, so I think we can just do it from here. So arrows, uh, we throw our filter items in, and then arrows, and then it'll go down to like 41, I think. Alright, so it looks like those are being powered. That goes down to 41, that goes down to 41, very good. And then the rest of the items filter in here. So now it's just a matter of... Um, yeah, just, uh, just, just connecting these up. So let's go ahead and connect these up, because I think this chest is basically full. Uh, we can actually change this hopper out right here. And, uh, let's just run this line over. Not the prettiest of things. Okay, and then it should just start working, right? Should just start working. So let's go ahead and throw, uh, let's get a bunch of iron. And let's just, oh, we got arrows. Uh, let's just go ahead and load, load iron in and see, see what happens. Because theoretically it should all go into the iron chest. And it seems like it's doing that. Uh, we also have these two modules over here. So just want to verify that they are not getting caught up. So iron as it comes through one at a time. Uh, it's being pulled down, which is great. We also had some arrows go through. That seems to be going in. All right. Well, hey, uh, let me let me continue to play with this. Move everything that's in this chest and see see if it all goes over. All right. So we overloaded the system. We just saw some iron come through. 
Bones are coming through. Arrows are coming through. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is working. I think this is, <laughs> I think, I think we have successfully got it all set up. Um, there are some modifications that I think I, I will want to make. The first one is we might want to bring it up a level so that we're not, we're not dropping down here with the hoppers. Um, and also give us a bit more room. And then, yeah, obviously we're going to have to go down a bit just to uh, give us some backup storage. So, uh, yeah, job well done. I think uh, maybe we take this to uh, to the market and uh, hopefully uh, catch up with Bex and find out uh, where we should put this side of it over at the flower farm. All right, before we go over, we should probably go ahead and pick up a few shulkers uh, just, just in case. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hashtag no corners on portals. Neon is the best. We should, uh, we should, we should pay Neon a visit as well. Maybe, uh, yeah, no, no corners on portals. You know, that actually gives me an idea. Neon hooked us up. He helped us out and we should probably do the same thing. And he's on this whole crusade that no, no nether portal should have corners. Maybe we should help him out. In that respect, let's craft a few uh, a few signs. I think I think that would be beneficial, and a barrel. Yeah, I think uh, I think a barrel would come in handy as well. All right, that looks good. That's looking good. Oh, you know what? We also have some buried treasure maps that we picked up on the first couple of episodes on the server. Maybe. Maybe we should we should check these out as well. I mean, oh, it looks like there's the same one. All right, well, <laughs> have a quick journey. Just have to find it. Have to find it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've been really busy doing a lot of different projects lately. Maybe we should just kind of take a break and tour around. Right, looks like we're at Mighty High's base over top of a mushroom island. Some wackiness going on up there, but he's already taken care of. Okay, all right, he's already in the know. Okay, I think I think we're in Shelley's. Wow, we're really up high. Man, look at this! All the way up top of this mountain. Okay, but her portal definitely needs to be upgraded. Let's go ahead and take care of that for her. Let's go ahead and put our obsidian in here. Let's uh, let's place the sign down. Hashtag no corners on portals. Neon is the best. Okay, I think that, that, that spreads the message, spreads the word. Alright, alright, this is uh, Draken's place, and again, what a wonderful, wonderful build. It's hard to tell though, it's hard to tell if he's got corners on his portals because he's covering them up. It's it's beautiful enough that I think, I think we'll leave this one. It's a Fort Poppy. I think we're gonna have to check it out is dangerous oh god nope 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 was not was not prepared for that okay okay oh god go just just just, just die All right, a much, a much better axer. Oh, shoot. There is so much lava everywhere. I probably just lost everything. They're just scattered, scattered everywhere. Got my pick, got my helmet. 
I'm really just worried about the Elytra. Helmet pants. Would like to get. Oh God. All right. All right. Let's just uh, get up and yeah, if we die, we'll, we'll die right here. Oh God. Let's eat, eat, eat. Can we survive this? No. Ah. Okay, our savior, Lady Bex, is on the case. I think she's there. Hopefully she picks up all of our stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. Uh... <laughs> Lady Bex is going to help us, and all of a sudden, uh, yeah, just burned us to a crisp. <laughs> Oh god. Oh good. Okay. We got the Elytra. That that was the important bits. Awesome. Okay. We got uh, our silk touch axe. We got fortunate beard. Silk. Okay. All right. We didn't lose much. Treasure map. Okay. Good. Rockets. That that might have been Oh, wait, there's more. Okay. Uh, a bed. Yes. Arrows. Minecart. Torches. That. That was everything. So good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, listen, uh, the message of Neon is good, but uh, maybe I'm not the one to spread it. Let's head back up to the overworld and uh, find this buried treasure. <laughs> okay, coming, coming up on it. We're getting close. It's like it's right over here on this island. All right. Okay, it doesn't look like it's been taken already, which is a good sign. Oh, oh, we found it. Okay, all right, so it can be under gravel. Interesting. Oh, yeah, luck of the sea. Let's just grab this whole thing. Oh, fantastic. All right, so we got some gold, some iron, prismarine shard, uh, some cooked fish. Luck of the sea. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think uh, overall that is that is quality. So let's go ahead and leave a sign here just in case anyone else uh, gets that map for whatever reason. Treasure found by Beard. Wonderful. OK, so uh, generally speaking, uh, day started off wonderfully. Then we decided to sidetrack ourselves and died. Uh, we are without boots. I thought we had everything, but yes, uh, no, no, no boots on us. So sadly, uh, sadly, yeah, it's a sad day. <laughs> but hey, we found treasure. We've got a heart of the sea. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever need to use it, but uh, we've got it now. We just had to uh, get some other stuff, I guess. The, the other stuffs are, 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 are more difficult to get. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. My name is Mighty Beard. It has been a pleasure, and we will play Minecraft together again very soon. Later!